Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shamoya. We're back today with another video and today's video is going to be all about skincare. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing some of the tips and stuff that I've learned over the last year and a half of having a skincare routine. I'm going to also be sharing some do's and don'ts. Okay. So I've been having a skincare routine for the last maybe year and a half, almost two years. And I'm loving the way my skin looks and feels. So I just want to share some of my tips with you guys that way if you want to if you're thinking about starting a skincare routine but you don't know where to start hopefully this video can help you okay so tip number one I would suggest is knowing your skin type or what type of skin do you have and it's not very hard because basically you know what those concerns are for your skin so for me it was pretty easy because I knew my skin was always so dry so no matter what I do as soon as I wash my face you could actually like see the ashiness on my face even now with the skincare routine so it was pretty easy for me to say okay my skin is dry and that's my main concern but also breaking out so I would break out so like I said, tip number one, take a minute, evaluate your skin. Do you have dry do you have dry skin, oily skin, sensitive, acne prone, or do you have combination skin? So I would say that's step number one. Know your skin type and also know what your goals are for your skin. Once you know those two things, now it's easy for you to get into a routine. And I would say if you're someone who's don't want to spend a lot of money just want to keep it simple and just have a routine I would say the three things to do would be cleanse tone and moisturize if you do those three things you can notice a big difference in your skin whenever I wear makeup I add the pre cleanse in front of me cleansing my skin and for pre cleanse it's simple if you wear your makeup you're gonna remove your makeup first so Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towels I just got this pack so that would be in your pre-cleanse um, I have these oval with my camera focus but these are the premium cotton ovals I like the bigger ovals because you tend to use less so you know instead of those little mini ones so I get these at Target or even at Walmart water let's focus and this is the one by Garnier. There's so many out there. It's a cleansing water. And this is good for removing your makeup. But also, or I should say, especially on the nights or days when you don't feel like doing your skincare routine. Then this is kind of my lazy way. So, if I have like a very late night and I don't feel like doing anything. I make sure I remove my makeup and then I go in with some micellar water. Just to make sure my skin is cleansed before I go to sleep. So yeah, I would suggest investing in one. Like I said, these are like very cheap. Three to five dollars. So get you a micellar water. And last but not least, for pre-cleanse, I love using this um, cleansing oil. And this is the one by Burt's Bees. Um, like I said, I have really dry skin. So a oil cleanser is really... Um, like one of the best things for me to use. I can use this to cleanse my face, but it does not lather. So, yes, it's cleaning my face, but I like to know that I'm using some type of soap that's actually gonna lather on my face so I know I'm really cleaning it. So, for me, I use this to break up my makeup. So, when you get ready to remove your makeup, if you massage this into your skin first, then it makes it easy for the makeup to come off. So that is mostly when I when I use this one. So that covers all my pre-cleanse. And now you can get into really cleansing your skin. So based on your skin type, that's going to determine what type of cleanser you're going to get. So for example, for me, I think cleansing milks, like I said, the cleansing oil is recommended. The micellar water, cleansing milks, cleansing gels. And then for like if you have oily skin, then there goes your foaming cleansers and more. Um, those cleansers that will kind of help more with the oil. So for me, cleansing gels are great. Um, this is a, I like this one by Soap and Glory. Um, this is their vitamin C facial wash. 
It has a little beads in it, but it's not harsh on your skin. Um, currently, I'm not using this one. My husband is actually using this one. But I do like it. It's very gentle on the skin. And it's a 3-in-1 daily cleanser. It cleanses, smooths, and purifies. So that's a good cleanser. Um, currently, this is the one I'm using by Aveeno. And this is the um, brightening cleanser. It's very gentle. It's kind of gel-like. But when you really rub your hands together, you get a pretty decent lather from my face. So I keep this one in the shower and I use this one, like I said, and whenever I'm in the shower. This is the one I usually reach for because it's right there. And I would also recommend that you invest in just a facial brush. Not expensive. This is not like the Clarisonic. <laughs> That's like two, three hundred dollars or one to two hundred dollars. This is just a facial brush from Walmart or something. Um, this is very good for those days when you feel like your skin need that deep cleaning that your hands and you know your fingers are not giving so you want to go a little deeper and exfoliate and stuff this is pretty good so just invest in one that's like 20 bucks and this one came with two different um, attachments but this is the one I mostly use because it's more gentle and the other one is more um, silicone so one more thing I, I was on YouTube today and I learned that Basically, you're supposed to wash your face for like 60 seconds. So that's something I'm going to be incorporating into my skincare moving forward. Like, I'm going to make sure I'm doing it for 60 seconds, put on the timer, and make sure I'm really cleansing my face. So, so that was something I learned today, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So 60 seconds to wash your face. Just sit there and rub it with your cleanser. So Okay, so we've covered cleanser. Now we go into toner. I did not know what a toner was until like a year ago. Seriously. And ever since I've learned about what a toner is, it has literally changed my life. There's not that many toners in the drugstore. I've noticed that. There's one, the one that I first used, which that I, I first used, which is like $3 in Walmart. I can't think of the name right now, but I will link it in the description box below. But that is like the cheapest one I've used, which is, um, an, so basically a toner is an estrogen. So it helps to balance your skin, clean your pores, and just make your skin really feel smooth. So that is one of the cheapest one I've used. And now I'm currently using Witch Hazel. As you can see, I don't have that much left in it. It's a pretty big bottle. It lasts me a pretty long time. But it's really, it's a natural estrogen, estrogen. <laughs> For face and body, it relieves oily, irritated, damaged, inflamed skin. So, because of the breakouts and because of the dry skin, that's another reason I'm trying this one. Because, so, I've been using this. It does have a little smell to it, but I've gotten used to it. And So, after I cleanse, I put this on the cotton pad and I just wipe it all over my face. And that kind of prep your skin for, for the moisturizer or just to kind of... Bring your skin back to its natural pH and there's so many other ones but not many in the drugstore so if you go to Ulta or Sephora you can find you a toner They're, they can get pricey but I would say use witch hazel or something cheaper if you want so moving on from toning we're gonna get into moisturizing so here's where you basically repairing your skin or just prepping your skin either for your makeup or for your day out during the day but it's very important to moisturize during the day and at night so I would say so for me for my daytime I'm currently using the Miel this is the Miel face lotion and it has SPF 15 so this saved me from trying to use sunscreen on top of already using the moisturizer so it's already get you a moisturizer that has SPF for the daytime or if you want to use the SPF separate that's okay but make sure you wear in sunscreen doesn't matter if you're black doesn't matter what your skin tone is you need SPF my nighttime moisturizer currently is this one by First Aid Beauty and this is their ultra repair cream for hydration and dry skin so and it's also safe for thick but it does give me 
the hydration I think that I need. Now you've covered those three steps and now if you want to add stuff to your skincare routine the next thing I would recommend is exfoliating. You should be exfoliating two to three times a week but also make sure you're staying away from the really harsh scrubs because I know they're supposed to remove like dry skin but they can also be very harsh on the skin so exfoliate but make sure you're being careful with choosing a exfoliator I have this Elemis or if that's how you pronounce it but this one says it's a papaya enzymes peel um, it took me a while I didn't realize it was an exfoliator this and this one I got in one of my subscription boxes didn't buy it I'm pretty sure it's pretty pricey but there's no grains in it so it's not harsh on the skin it's just like a cream you put it on for 10 minutes you rinse it off and there you go walnut scrub by Ole Hendri Ole Hendrickson and this one does have those little grains in it so I try to be very gentle with it because like I said I got this one also in a subscription box so I didn't pay for it and I'm not gonna waste it I'm gonna use it so I just try to be careful I only use this one like once a week try to be very gentle with it I have this one also and this one does not have I don't think this one has the grains in it but this is a pink grapefruit pink grapefruit exfoliant very gentle favorite favorite exfoliator is the exfoliate by Kate Somerville another one that I got in a subscription box is good for all skin types um, this one is a two minute exfoliator this is like getting a facial and this stuff costs like 80 bucks so I'm being very stingy with it like I only use it like once a month when my skin is really breaking out and I want to cleanse really good then I go in with this but I really like this one but it's very pricey but if you want to pay the price then this is one that I would recommend two minutes you feel it tingling you leave it on and you rinse it off. Really, this is a drugstore one, which is probably like three to five dollars. Is the Scent Ives Blackhead Clearing Scrub. This is their green tea scrub. Um, back when I was looking for skincare products, and I was like, I was trying to get something that wasn't too harsh, and I figured this one was like moderate, so. I like I said I only use this like once a week try to be very gentle but once I run out of these scrubs that has the grains in it I'm probably not gonna buy another one so yeah so that covers all the exfoliators like I said exfoliate two to three times a week um, it helps you to remove dead skin um, sebum um, clean your pores night would be serums so serums are there to, I don't really know, but I guess serums kind of, uh, it's like a treatment for your face. So after you've toned and before you put on your moisturizer, you kind of want to add something that's going to help repair your skin for the next day. So serums are mostly used during the night. I don't have a lot of serums, but this one I just ran out of and it's by Miel Cosmetics as well. And this is their um, revitalizing face serum. And it's supposed to moisturize, hydrate the skin, leave it feeling soft and smooth. As you can see, I pretty much used it all. So, that's a good one. This one is the Rapid Flash Brightening Serum by Sunday Riley. Another, like, Sephora, more expensive skincare product. It has vitamin C. I just started actually using this every day during the day because I find that it really helps to like keep my skin hydrated for the entire day and that glow. So I've been using this for the last couple weeks. For serums, I would recommend Pixie. They have a couple different ones. This is their um this is their overnight glow serum. I'm pretty much out of it as well. But Pixie is an overall great skincare line. You can find it. You can find it at Target or on their website. They have a lot of products, and it's like between 
drugstore and Sephora. So they fall like in the middle with in terms of price and you know products, but they're really good. I've tried a couple different products, but I'm completely out. The thing about serums is you can layer them, so you don't have to just use one. So I usually try to use two or one, but just saying, you don't have to use one. You can layer your products because they all do different things. So use your serums before you go in with your moisturizer. Um, another thing you can add is the eye cream. If you have, if you just want to keep your under eye hydrated, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can just go to Walmart or any drugstore and get you a high cream, a regular eye cream. And if you if you have dark circles or hyperpigmentation, then you might need something with more, um, something that's going to be more concentrated. And my favorite thing to add is your mask. And as you can see, I have a lot of them. This is a deep cleansing mask by Glam Glow. I only use this, like I said, when you need a deep cleaning. This is Sephora brand. And I just look for anything that has detoxing, purifying, hydrating, replenishing, anything like that. So this is the purifying and detoxifying. This one is quenching and replenishing. This one is moisturizing and brightening. I just have a bunch. This one is a brightening mask by Pearl. Um, this is a on the eye rejuvenating eye gel. And another one gold mask by Wonder. I have a lip mask I haven't tried yet and my favorite drugstore mask is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost their entire Hydra Boost line is so great this one is 250 it's amazing you feel hydrated love it so these are my favorite masks and last but not least you can't neglect the lips you have a lip scrub I try to use it two to three times a week and I'll and I also make sure at night when I do all the moisturizing and stuff I do not forget my lips. So I do put on like a, it's not a chopstick, it's a lip um, repair. So I use a lip repair every night and I use it throughout the day, but I make sure I don't forget the lips. It covers pretty much all my favorite products and it pretty much covers all the skincare routine steps. Like I said, we go over them one more time. You pre-cleanse if you wear makeup, you cleanse, you tone, you moisturize. You exfoliate two to three times a week and you add masks. My challenge for this month is actually to do a mask every day. Different types. I have a cream mask. This one is a hydrating cream mask. Um, I also have the another face mask. And I have a sleeping mask. So that one is most of when I'm lazy again. Or just once, once per week, I try to put on a sleeping mask, just wash my face, put it on, wake up in the morning, your skin feels soft. So my challenge for this month was to use a mask every day for the whole month. And I've been doing pretty good. So, yeah. So add your mask, add your serums, and stuff like that. So... Just to summarize everything, do's and don'ts, make sure you drink enough water, make sure you're eating as healthy as you can. We all, you know, <laughs> most of us don't have like a strict diet or anything, but make sure you're incorporating foods into your diet that help with your skin, such as avocado, lemon, like I said, drinking more water, your veggies, certain veggies, certain fruits for your skin. So... That would be my recommendation. Try not to stress because stress causes you to break out. So, no stress. And finally, some don'ts. Never go to sleep with your makeup on. No matter how tired you are, how um, lazy you're being, never go to sleep with your makeup on. So if you do have makeup on, like I said before, even if you just use your makeup wipes and get it all off. That's good enough. And if you have a couple more minutes, go ahead and use the micellar water and just kind of cleanse your face, wipe it off before you go to bed. That's good enough. And then once you wake up the next day, you jump right back into your 
three or five step routine. So do not go to sleep with your makeup on. And another don't, try not to rub your face. Keep your hands out your face. But also when you're putting on the products, try not to rub. Try to pat and push into your skin. I know it seems stupid and it seems like something small, but it could make a big difference in your skin. So I try to avoid rubbing. If I'm lazy, I try to, you know, hurry up and rub it in, but I try to be gentle again and avoid rubbing when you can. And then, like I said, try to avoid the cheap, <laughs> harsh exfoliators and scrubs because they can do more damage than good. So try to avoid those. Um... One thing that we're all <laughs> guilty of doing is popping the pimples. Trust me, the only dark spots I have is from popping pimples. So try to avoid that as much as you can. Can't avoid them all, but try. Um, another thing would be avoid the regular bar soaps. Unless it's like the African black soap, those bar soaps are no good. So try to avoid the bar soaps as much as you can. Um, avoid washing your face with hot water. It should either be lukewarm or it should pretty much be room temperature. That's something I had to learn because I was very guilty. I was always guilty of just washing my face with hot water. So avoid hot water. Um, and like I said, don't stress. So thank you for joining me with this video. I hope you guys learned something. And like I said, if you have any questions, any tips, any comments, don't be scared to leave them down below. Like, comment, share this video, and I'll try to do another video soon, so bye!